I have officially switched essential oil companies and that's a pretty huge deal for me. So I have officially switched essential oil companies and that's a pretty huge deal for me. So this video is going to talk all about why I did that. Also, I am sitting outside on my front porch. Please don't mind the trash truck coming by. Please don't mind people walking by. You probably can't. No, you can't see them. But people might be walking by. Cars might be driving by. Sorry, just needed to be outside for this. So, so if uh, you guys have been following me my whole YouTube journey, then you know that I am big into essential oils. And I basically only have Young Living essential oils and those are the only oils I've used for a long time. So back in 2015, my dad actually bought me and my family a starter kit from Eden's Gardens essential oils and I loved those oils um, for a long time. But finally in 2017, I decided to get my own set and I ended up signing up with Young Living. And I actually tried to sell Young Living oils for a while um, but a lot of me just didn't feel right about it. You know, I definitely loved the product, but I just felt like I was turning into one of those pushy sales reps, you know. So I stopped trying to sell them and um, really loved the oils, had no complaints about them at all. And actually still I have no complaints about the oils. So um, basically the last few months I have just been seeing so much corruption in the Young Living company and in... The people of Young Living and it's just been a lot. So basically I have been a part of a Facebook group that um, basically my upline put me in the group when I signed up and became a member, member through Young Living. So, so basically I've used that group a lot and I've asked tons of questions and you know I just see a lot of people posting stuff on there and really what did it for me with wanting to walk away from Young Living was the way the community is okay so first of all there is a huge emphasis on selling if you're not selling what even are you doing that's kind of the whole attitude of the company and um, the whole attitude of the company's members and there's just a lot of pressure to sell and and the people that are selling can tend to be very um, pushy and just kind of the same thing and it is an MLM company if you're not familiar with MLM MLM stands for multi-level marketing and it's also known as pyramid selling basically MLM companies have people that buy their products, but also try to sell them. So it's kind of like, and then they get paid for selling them. And then eventually they end up getting their products paid for because of their revenue and all this stuff. So it's basically the way that I kind of always have thought about it. It's a company that allows anyone to work for them if that makes sense. So basically, it doesn't matter who you are, you can sign up, become a member, and start selling. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, and it's basically a lot of, a lot of moms use um, MLM companies to make extra revenue because, you know, they can just do it from home. And, you know, it's really a great situation on the surface. So anyways, that was my first reason. There's just a ton of emphasis on selling. And I just feel like you don't, I don't know, I just, you know, I just feel like you don't need to always be trying to sell something. So anyways, um, the second thing is that bothered me about the company is Young Living really, it's basically in the community, it's Young Living or Die. Like no other oils are good. No other companies uh, measure up. Young Living oils can be used on anybody, on anything, and can treat anything. And those are just huge huge statements and um, there's also a big emphasis on not needing to worry about you know ingesting oils and then there's also this whole thing around that it's not physically possible to have a reaction like an allergic reaction to an essential oil and so if anybody comes onto the group that I was on um, including myself I went on there and um, if anybody just is like, hey, you know, 
I've had an allergic reaction to oils. Like they will promptly tell you that it is not scientifically possible, which, okay, that's true. But what I'm getting at here is everybody's body is different and everybody's body responds to oils differently. And basically these groups and the people of Young Living and other companies that we won't name because I'm not bringing anybody else into there. It's just this big thing where, you know, to me, they're basically saying nobody, it doesn't matter. Nobody needs to be careful with oils. Nothing bad can happen from, um, from oils. Like nothing, nothing about oils can harm you. And I think that is so false because like I said, everybody, everybody's body is super different. And I, for one, am super sensitive to oils and have to be really careful with them and have to use them sparingly and not use certain ones. Um, for example, Thieves um, essential oil um, uh, has caused um, allergic reactions to, for people. And, you know, like I said, it, this is just something that these companies and their... Um, their employees, if you will, will not admit that that it could cause problems. And that's just dangerous. You know, it's dangerous. And the other thing is, um, and a lot of essential oil companies claim this, but they claim that it's perfectly fine and safe to ingest oils, which I never agree with. I need to put that out there. I do not agree with ingesting oils. There's not enough studies on it. I'm not saying that it's bad, but who knows how it affects you. Um, 20, 30, 40 years down the line. I mean, we don't know. Like, there's not enough scientific studies out there that prove that it is totally safe to ingest oils. Like I said, I'm not saying that it's not safe, but I'm saying, you know, we just have to be so careful. I mean, you know, and back to the thieves thing, I'm super sensitive to some oils and thieves is one of them. If I put that on my body, I am very, very sick the next day. And I believe it's from detox, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I can do too much with the thieves. Like I have to be very careful about putting it on my body, diffusing it, um, because I am sent into a big um, detox reaction, which like I said, is not bad and it's not the oils fault necessarily and it's not that the oil is not clean or impure it's literally just that it's strong and that's what i'm saying i think these this company is just not they just think okay whatever like it doesn't matter like they're safe they're totally fine like no you have to be super careful and you have to be super careful with kids about what oils you use on kids and anyways that is the reason i'm walking away um because i just I'm sick of the community. I'm sick of all the sales. Oh, we got to sell, 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 sell this, sell that, sell this, reach the next rank, you know, make a ton of money, like change your life. Like I'm sick of that. And I just want oils that are clean and pure and that, you know, are just oils basically. So I just want to say I'm making a lot of bold statements in this video. And to be quite honest, Posting a video like this is not really my style. I don't like to cause conflict at all. And so um, I just wanted to add in here that not everybody who does Young Living does these things. Like it's not every single person. But there are quite a bit of people that feel this way about the oils and who push you to do all these kinds of crazy things with oils. Um, but I just wanted to say it's not everyone. Um, and, you know this is very bold of me to post this and I'm actually super freaked out because I just don't I don't want to cause issues I'm just telling y'all why I decided to leave and what was going on in my community um, my young living community and so if you don't agree with this it's totally fine like and you can share your opinion like I don't mind you sharing your opinion but please don't hate over it because um, like I said just my personal opinion you don't have to agree with it you don't have to like it it's totally fine but yeah just kind of want to put a disclaimer in here not everybody that I've come into contact with who does Young Living is this way. You know, it's it's not everybody, but it is a big majority of the people, so. That's why I decided to look for other options. And so I actually was on Facebook one day and saw a ad for Revive um, Essential Oils and um, was very, 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 very skeptical because one, 
their prices were so much cheaper than Young Living and doTERRA and all the competitors. Um, and, you know, I just didn't know. Like, I, I've always been told that Young Living is the purest essential oils. Like, there's no other oil but Young Living's. Like, other companies, you know, they don't do it right or, you know, what is going into the bottle is not clean or safe or, you know, all the stuff that they tell you. Um, so I actually reached out to my friend Terry. Shout out to you, Terry. And I was telling her that I was really interested in them and I kind of wanted to know what her thoughts were. And she told me that she actually switched to Revive. And I told her all the reasons that I was wanting to walk away from Young Living. And she literally said that she had all the same reasons and that's why she left and it was just crazy like and she hadn't told me this and I just kind of reached out to her so anyways um so that really I was like if my friend you know she's she was big into Young Living if if she's using these oils you know heck like I should give them a try so I of course did a ton of research and really just researched about the company and Basically, I'm pulling this up. I'm reading verbatim from their website because I wanted to make sure that um, that I was getting right information and not like misquoting anything. So, let's see. First of all, so the oils are 100% pure therapeutic grade, free of any additives, fillers, synthetics, or dilutions. So they. Um, are just the same as Young Living on that. And then their essential oils are either organic or wild crafted, which means that they're gather gathered from plants that grow in the wild. And um, they're sourced from locally owned farms all around the world. But um, they are bottled, that they are distilled, tested, and bottled in small batches in the United States. So, and they do say their oils are safe to ingest, but, you know, I'm not going to go there. Um, there, this is not an MLM company. This is, there's no fees. There's no sign up. Like, you don't have to, like, there's just none of that junk, basically, um, which is great. And that, in turn, because it's not an MLM company, makes their oils cheaper. And that's why they're cheaper is because it's not, they're not paying all their employees, basically, which makes sense. And then... You know, they have a return policy, um, you know, for 100 days. They, you know, they really want, and they have a guarantee. Um, they said you can return your opened or unopened bottle within 100 days and um, no questions asked, which is great. So you could really try them out. Um, <clears throat> and then the next thing is um, uh, GC slash MS uh, testing. And that stands for gas chroma chrom, chromatograph chromatograph mass spectrometry basically the cg slash ms testing um, verifies the purity and quality of an oil and basically on their oils they have your batch number and you can um i think they said you can email them for your specific oils batch number um and find out the purity but they also on their report have they say they're updated and updated um updated reports on all their um essential oils so that's amazing and that really is what sold it for me I was like well look I am being told what is what it is and how pure the oil is which is great and all of them check out obviously so here's the thing and me and my friend Terry both talked about this she's the one who just recently switched to revive basically I there are still some things that I'm going to be buying from Young Living like Thieves hand sanitizer and um, certain oils um, but for the most part the bulk of my oils are going to come from Revive now and um, yeah basically they also have several um, dupes on their website like um, one of them that I got um, is Stress Away or stress easy my gosh and this is a dupe for stress away uh for young living and it smells pretty much identical to it which is insane and then this was another um dupe um doTERRA this is like a dupe of um doTERRA's past tense i don't have that so i don't know what it smells like 
but it smells really good and I've been told um, that it's like identical to doTERRA's um, so yeah those are the first two um, dupes that I got and then I got a little starter kit so I will um, give y'all a little haul so it came with lemon and this starter kit was $80 something like that not expensive at all sleep Um, came with the stress easy as well, which is great because then I can diffuse it. Lavender. Frankincense, which love that. This smells really, really good. Mm. And it smells just like Young Living's Frankincense, like I'm not even lying. Um, immunity Boost, which is basically Thieves, and it smells literally the same. Yeah. Literally the same. Um tea tree which I have never had before so that's really cool copaiba this one smells a little bit different than young living's copaiba but you know not a big deal uh breathe air this one smells like um oh, oh this one smells pretty similar to um rc from young living um and then last but not least peppermint and the peppermint smells different, but the thing is, it doesn't smell bad at all, but um, peppermint, I find, even from Young Living, like, each batch I get, each little bottle I get is different from, <laughs> from the other one. So, so yeah, basically, that's my story, and that's why I left Young Living. Like I said, still going to purchase some things from them, but um, not a part of the group anymore. Um, not really... I don't know. I basically, I'm just so glad that I found this company. And I hope you guys will try them out because they're honestly really affordable. Um, like I said, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, oils for let me actually get a direct. And they have free shipping on all their oil orders. So that's really great because Young Living couldn't even provide that. And you had to pay an arm and a leg for shipping with Young Living. Like seven or eight dollars every single time. Uh, which is just ridiculous. I mean, come on. Yeah, so this was their starter kit, $85 for all that. Not bad for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten oils. That's not bad at all. And another difference is they their standard oil size is 10 milliliters instead of five. Um, Young Living's is five, and then they have a 15 if you want to pay extra. And then they also have, okay, so they do sizes in 10 milliliter and 30, which is like insane to even hear that. And um, like, for example, a 30 milliliter bottle of bergamot is only $24, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, great company, super excited about it, super happy I found them and thankful I found them. And yeah, obviously not partnered with these people at all, not being paid to say this, literally just me trying them out. And I will say I tried them out. Um, I've had them for a little while now. And I love them. I've been diffusing them. I've been applying them topically. Like, they work just the same as Young Living. Um, like, literally love them. And I love having these. I've never gotten a roller from Young Living. But I just love rolling this on me. It's so nice. Um, but, yeah, anyways. That's what's, that's what's happening. So, big things are happening in Kate's world. Um... Oh my gosh, that's a squirrel. I thought it was a human. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know a few people really wanted to see this video because a few of my friends, I told them that I was switching and they were very interested. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this because I made this video for y'all and for other people because I really want to get Revive out there because they're great. And I think a lot of people should start using them, especially if what's been holding them back from essential oils is cost. Like really, you know, no, you don't need to go buy Walmart essential oils because those are not good. Really, they're not. But this is a company that um, is a good company um, and it's clean oils, pure oils, and they're affordable. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.